Hello everyone, this is Lola from afropotslock.com. Today I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step process on how to make yogurt in your home. There are actually a whole lot of methods you can use in making this yogurt recipe and the method I'm showing you today is just one of those methods. So let's get started. The main ingredients for making yogurts is of course the milk and I'm going to start by pouring this milk inside a pot. I always like to use whole milk for making yogurt because it yields a better texture of yogurt compared to the reduced fat milk. So at this point, I'm just going to be heating up this milk on a medium to high heat until it's almost reaching its boiling point. And it's very important to keep on stirring this milk at intervals to prevent it from scorching. It's also very much advisable to use a heavy bottom pot for this because it absorbs and distributes heat more evenly. Once the milk comes to a temperature of about 190 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, then it's time to take it off the heat. I personally don't use a thermometer for this. When I see the bubbles forming around the edge of the pot, I know it's time to take it off the heat. So at this point, I'm just going to be leaving this to cool down until it's warm to the touch. And as I said earlier, I don't use thermometer for this. Basically, you should expect it to warm up to a temperature at which you prove your yeast or thereabouts. So while you are also waiting for the milk to cool down, it's very important to stir it at intervals. And this will prevent a film from forming over the milk. You don't want this film to form because it does take a little part of the fat in the milk and you don't want that. At this point, the temperature of the milk is warm to the touch and I'm just going to be adding the starter culture to the milk. And my culture is just two tablespoons from a previous yogurt. Make sure you use a yogurt with a very active and living culture. The yogurt should not have any sugar or any additives in it. Once the yogurt has been fully dissolved in the milk, simply cover it up with a fitting lid. At this point, I'm going to be keeping this in the oven with the light on, and this is going to create an environment which is warm enough for the cultures to grow. I'll be leaving this for about six to 12 hours until the yogurt is thick and tangy, and you can actually leave it overnight as well the longer it stays in the oven, the tangier and thicker it becomes. It's also very important not to disturb this mixture during the resting process so that the yogurt can be properly set. This yogurt has been resting for about 7 to 8 hours now and it's all set. But before I go further, I'm just going to be transferring it to the fridge to chill for about 2 to 4 hours before serving it. And here is the outcome. As you can see, it's very thick, it's rich and creamy. Basically, this recipe is very easy to put together and you don't even need any fanciful equipment to put this together. You can definitely create this in your kitchen without any stress. At this point, feel free to serve your yogurt with any flavorings of your choice. And that is it again for today. Thank you all for spending your time with me. If you enjoy this recipe, don't forget to leave a thumbs up for me. The full ingredients for today's recipe can be found at afropotslock.com. Until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. Enjoy.